Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Also, drop a little like. But anyway guys, on into today's video, I'm going to prove to you guys that skill-based matchmaking is in Modern Warfare. It's been an ongoing debate for the last few, many, many years. I think ever since Advanced Warfare, possibly, I might be wrong on that. But there's been skill-based matchmaking inside of Call of Duty and there's been a huge uproar of why it shouldn't be in the game and how there should be. A public match mixed with all different skill levels and a rank play where you can play people similar rank to you, similar level of skill to you, should I say. And I completely agree with this, I think that should be a thing. Skill-based matchmaking does ruin the fun of the game for a lot of people, myself included at the best of times. I think in this game it's sort of unknowable, like you don't really notice it until you actually go ahead and try it for yourself. So that's exactly what I did. As you can see on your screen, this is not my usual account, I'm level 33, I've played about an hour's worth of game time on this account. I made it last night, I was playing just on my regular account, my main account, and I got really bored and I thought, it's double XP, why not, why not I make another account and I'll just rank up on that and just, something to do basically. So I did, and as I thought as I went into my first game, I wasn't actually recording, but I've managed to actually get hold of the gameplay. I thought it's going to be skill based matchmaking, I'm, these players I'm going to play against are going to be absolutely god awful, are they going to be... Decent, I don't know, I had no idea. So we're gonna hop straight into the gameplay right now and you guys are gonna see for yourself just how awful these players was. If you are already a subscriber to the channel and you've seen my previous gameplays, then you'll know the kind of play style I play, how good I am at the game, and what my ten what my gameplays tend to be like. I never upload an awful gameplay, maybe at the odd time, so I always show a very decent gameplay. So if you can compare them from my last gameplay, last video, so if you've not checked that one out after this video, watch this one first and then watch that one, then you'll be able to tell a huge difference on the players I play against in this video. Okay guys, this gameplay you're about to watch is actually my second game. I played one more game before this and the reason I've not included that game is because I think the first game you play is full of loads of different skill levels or possibly a higher skill level than maybe an average player let's say. Um, this seemed to be pretty much how I, the normal game I would play and as you can see I get a triple kill straight off the bat there. In fact I think I get the fourth guy. So at the start of this game I'm already going on a bit of a tear. So like I said in the first game I think the first game you play on a new account, a fresh account, is sort of a Test a game, sort of like I don't really know how to put it, but like a game for the game, a game for the game to figure out what skill level you are at. And to be fair, I purposely had a pretty awful game. I didn't do god awful where I got zero kills. I just started the game normal, so I got a few kills uh, like I normally would in any other game. It seemed pretty average to what I'd play on my over account, and uh, I thought actually let me just let me just do awful here. Let me just let these players kill me and kill me and kill me. So that's what I did. So hopping into the second game, I got creative class unlocked, I got the M4 so I felt a bit more comfortable and I tried to basically go on a tear, I wasn't sweating, I was just trying to play good basically, you know, I wasn't try harding for instance, I was still pretty laid back, it was late at night so I was just chilling anyway and I got an absolute tear in this game and it proved to me that the skill based matchmaking in this game is definitely a thing. I feel like when I play against these type of players my movement is a lot better. I don't know why, it just felt so crisp and clean, I have no idea why. It felt really weird, my movement in this game just felt like it was on point. And the players, as we can see when I eventually try and get a kill, they don't even shoot back half the time. Yeah, I, I do die a fair amount of times. For the simple fact, not loads of times, but for the, fair, for the simple fact it's shipment, obviously you're going to die, there's people everywhere. But right at this moment in time, I'm not really even trying, I'm just sort of trying to prove if there is a skill based matchmaking. I'm trying to play awful ish to see if the enemies are actually going to shoot back, if they're actual complete bots, that's what I'm trying to say. But how didn't I die there? That was a little flag for me there, like that kid was shooting me and he just seemed to stop shooting me and I managed to pick both of them guys up, which I thought, okay, fair enough, is what it is. But I'll let you guys watch the gameplay for yourself and you can sort of judge the players I'm playing against for yourself. But the reason I want to talk about skill based matchmaking and why it's such a problem is because, let's say for instance you're a top ranked player. Um, in a game of Warzone, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about Warzone specifically here. I think it's not as bad in multiplayer, to be honest, because obviously multiplayer you can respawn and stuff. Warzone, if you're a top Warzone player and you come into a lobby full of top other top Warzone players, and I've seen a debate about this before, the chances of getting a in fact not even top ranked players, no matter what skill level you're, if you're an average player playing against other average players, if you're above average, so on and so forth it's going to be even harder to get that win and to be honest me personally playing a solo game of Warzone I really struggle to get a win I can reach top 10 I'd say 2 out of 3 games every single time 
without fault. Picking up a few kills on the way, five or six kills, you know, just your average game. And in that top 10, it's super, super hard because they're the top of players in that lobby who seem to be a similar skill base level to me. They're sort of thinking similar to me and it makes it 10 times harder to gauge where people are going to be, you know, people are... You know, they're the same skill level, you know, they're going to be as good as you, you're not going to be able to be better than them, majority of the time, obviously there's going to be exceptions where you outplay them or whatever, but majority of the time it's going to be super hard because they're going to be the same skill level as you. And personally in battle royale modes like that, I think there should be no such thing, it should be completely randomised, if you come in the lobby and you're in a top 2 with an absolute god of the, of the game, then that's it, you, you know, you've lost, that person's better than you, he deserves to win, he is better than you. And that's the way it should work, if someone is better than you, they should be able to win, and yeah, you can have the debate like, well, if it don't matter if the skill-based matchmaker, if someone kills you, then they're better than you. But it's not like that, you know, do you know? It's it's different. If you know, you know, it's one of them type of things. And if someone's worse than you and you can get an easy win, then you deserve to have that easy win. You know, you you're better than that person, you deserve to have that easy win once in a while. I understand that there's a there's struggle to add a ranked playlist to probably Warzone specifically, uh, but I think the skill based matchmaking should be lowered, you know, maybe not have it as high end where literally everyone in the lobby is pretty much the same skill level as you. Maybe half it, you know what I mean? Maybe have half skill level um, as you, then maybe a quarter better than you or a quarter lower than you, you know, like that that type of thing. I'm sorry my phone's going off right now. And I think it's one of them very touchy suspects as well, uh, subjects as well, should I say, not suspects, um, where... You know, people like it, people don't like it, and I think it's definitely down to personal preference. But what I'm seeing the majority of the time is that people don't like it, and I would love to see it removed. Like, if you remember back in the day, in, let's say Modern Warfare 2, I was definitely not the best of players in Modern Warfare 2. I was a bang, below average player. I was pretty much awful, to be honest. Uh, I mean, look at this. I'm absolutely tearing these guys to absolute shreds, and this is the Renetti clip. If you just watch this, I don't think I even get shot. I'm just going to watch this with you guys right now. I picked up a Renetti on Shipman. These, oh, look at that kid. He had a sniper, to be fair. Give him the thing. Give him the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. I can't even get my words out. And basically, I'm just shredding them with this Renetti, and I finally get shot with the sniper. But to be fair, in my lobbies, if I was in my lobby, I don't personally think I would have been able to do that. I definitely don't think I would have been able to do that at all. Um, I think I would have definitely been killed more or less instantly there. As just people are just more smarter, you know. If you're a better player, I'm not saying I'm God, I'm just, I'm probably an average player or above average player with the amount of times I have played it. Obviously, I've played it for years, obviously, so I'm not trying to say I'm the best. I'm just saying I'm pretty, I'm, I'm decent, let's say. I don't want to sound like I'm up my own arse. That's what I'm trying to say. Also, I'd like to note as well, the chopper gun on uh, shipment is by far the worst kill streak you can ever use on shipment. It literally gets like four kills because there's so much spawn protection and people are just killing everyone so quickly. Super duper annoying. But back to what I was saying about the Modern Warfare 2 debate. Back in them days, or COD 4, World at War, whatever you want to say, the older generation of CODs, maybe even Black Ops 2, you could, if you was better than someone in them lobbies, and I remember Black Ops 2 fondly, because that's when I started to become a better player, and playing in them lobbies against no skill worse matchmaking, some lobbies you could absolutely destroy people, you could, obviously back then the lobbies didn't change, and that was the whole point of lobby surfing back then as well. You can do it now, but it takes 10 times as long. Obviously, you do get the odd bot lobby, no matter what. Obviously, it can't work every single time. If you could lobby surf, find the right bot lobby, like if you're, if for instance, full of awful players, full of low levels, for instance. And there's a good way to tell a skill-based matchmaker as well. You can't really tell so much in Modern Warfare, but let's say it's mid-season and you're rank 130. We're into the second game now, by the way, as well with the MP5 just for another, obviously a gun and better way just to prove this skill based matchmaking even more. Let's say you rank 130 mid-season, I'm sorry all these weird hand movements, I just don't know what to do with my hands, I'm a proper fidgety person so it's super annoying, I'm very sorry, I'll try and keep it out of the frame because I feel like it might annoy you some of you guys. Say you're rank 130 for the third time, sorry, and you're going to lobbies, you'll come up against people a similar rank to you because they've played it as much as you, the similar score per minute, all the stats are taken into account, it's not just KD, it's your score per minute mainly I think, I think score per minute is a big one in the skill based matchmaking, I'm not 100% sure, I know it was in Black Ops 4, but yeah, so you can't, that's the way you can really tell if you're in a skill based match lobby in uh, this game, but back to the Black Ops 2 debate or the older CODs, you could lobby surf, you could be max prestige and you could be in a lobby with people who aren't even prestige, the full lobby, and you could stay in that lobby game after game after game after game and absolutely tear them apart game after game after game after game. And it did make it really, really fun. Yeah, it was kind of a douchebag thing to do, lobby surfing to find awful players, 
but it was good, you know, it, it would make this a lot easier, getting gameplay is 100%, I can tell you that for free, um, and it made it fun as well, you know, if you've got a load of friends on lobby surfing for an awful lobby and just having a load of fun winning games, just getting kill streaks, and you know, it can make it a lot of fun, whereas now, you have to sort of try really hard in every single lot, not really hard, but give it, you know, give some effort to try and do at least decent. If I slack off in one of my lobbies, then I'm not going to do very well at all. I know I'm not. I've, I've tried, you know, if I'm just relaxing. If I, I can't play when I'm not, like, if I'm not full concentration in the game. That's just me. I don't know if you guys can relate. And for me, that's when the fun is taken out of the game. You know, when you can't just chill out. I mean, I couldn't lay on my bed and play. I'd, I'd never do that anyway, but if I wanted to, I definitely couldn't do that. I, I don't do that anyway, I, could, I can't, but if I wanted to, I definitely couldn't. So for me, going forward into the next Call of Duty, I would love to see skill-based matchmaking removed and have two separate playlists. Yeah, we have had league play, and that's what it should be. It should be league play and just pubs where you can you know, stay in the same lobby, just against anybody, you can lobby surf if you want, and just have a good time, you know, meeting all these different skill levels is good in my opinion, I loved coming across an absolute god before, like say if I'm playing search and destroy and there's a guy in my lobby and he's an absolute beast, like then just spectating him if I die or something, this is back in the day by the way, this is not modern warfare, I just love watching the, this person play and just learning how they play, you know, if they're obviously better than me, I want to know how they're better than me, and it goes for showing, and it also made for good videos as well if you come across an awful player watching them play, it also made for good videos of that as well. But I'm not saying I want skill based matchmaking removed just for the content side of things, obviously. I think it would make Call of Duty again as a whole a lot more enjoyable. I mean, the older CODs, they were the more enjoyable games, am I wrong? No, I'm not, I'm sure most people do agree. And there was no skill based matchmaking in there, you know, it, it just made it what it was. If you were slapping kids, you had the right to slap kids, you know, if you were better than them. And you don't, you don't get that as often, you know, it's harder to get nukes in this game, it's harder to get wounds on Warzone, it's harder to do everything really, because obviously the same skill as you, you know, they're going to be able to outgun you, it's one of them things. I understand from a new player point of view how skill based matchmaking is really, really good, because uh, if you're an awful player, you don't want to be coming up against absolute, you know, gods at the game, it's going to put you off the game more or less instantly, and I think that's what it is. This game... Modern Warfare specifically, I think it's the worst skill based matchmaking we've had. This game was designed for newer players. If you didn't know, that's actually an official statement. I'm sure it is. I'm sure they said it was designed for newer players. The map layout, a lot of the maps from the very start, if you haven't realised, don't go off a free lane basis. Some do, but a lot of them don't. Or if they do, now think about it, they actually do go off a free lane basis. They always do. There's a lot of spots, a lot of camp spots, and if, at the start of the game, camping was just another level I'd never played a game with so many campers and I really disliked this game at the start because you couldn't play aggressive you know a good player plays aggressive about well, majority of the time and because obviously it suited the awful players who aren't as aggressive because obviously they don't want to die because they know the will no disrespect obviously um, obviously they were camp and it made it super hard to play aggressive at the start of this game and it was it, it sucked to be honest it was awful I hate I didn't I didn't want to play this game to be fair, because of the skill based matchmaking and whatnot. So, going forward, I hope they do remove skill based matchmaking. I hope it's back to how it used to be. And we have the ranked play as well. So, if we want a bit of competition, we can. I don't want every lobby to be full of sweaty players like myself. But I don't think it's gonna, to be honest. I think they should just, I think, hopefully, they tone it down. But I can't see them ever removing skill based matchmaking now. I think Warzone, it should definitely be removed fully, though. I don't know what's going to happen. I'd love to know what you guys think of skill based matchmaking. I know a lot of you will think it's awful and annoying because it 100% is. I mean, I've got 50 kills. The second person's got 30. It's kind of a big difference on shipment. 20 kill difference. I mean, to me, that was kind of a big difference. I don't know. And this, look at this triple kill. That's the easiest triple kill I've ever had in my life. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I couldn't. I, I recommend trying this out for yourself. Make a new account or whatever and just try out doing this skill based matchmaking thing, you'll, once you see for yourself, you'll notice it a lot more. Okay guys, we're back in the lobby, I'd love to know what you guys think of skill based matchmaking, and all the things I've said in this video, I don't want to make out like I'm some kind of insane Call of Duty player, because I'm not, I don't want to sound like I'm on my own arse or anything like that, because I'm not, sorry if you come across like that, I was just trying to prove a point. Let me know what you guys think of skill based matchmaking and what you want them to do in the future going forward with skill based matchmaking, do you want to see it removed or do you like the fact of it? I don't know, let me know, personally I want it removed. But anyway guys, this is unfortunately going to be the end of the video. If you guys are new around here and you did like the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're smashing a like. And if you guys are already subscribed, make sure you do have bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on a single video I do upload. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, links for them are in the description. 
Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.